What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk Tima Hitchcock Music. Brothers, I've been getting a lot of calls today about this story. Calls, notification sounds, all kind of stuff. And the story that we're talking about today actually is quite sad. And it involves some TikTokers. Now, stop the show. I really don't um, do TikTok. I know uh, my boy Kevin Samuels, he's over there now. And I guess I'll get over there too eventually. Uh, but apparently it's popping over there. It's real cracking. Um, and there are people who use TikTok who don't use YouTube. Uh, and one of the best pair of creators uh, are these kids called, uh, or these young ladies called the Alabama Famous Twins, okay? Now, the Famous Twins are these uh, particular sisters. Um, as we can see, they are, uh, they're weaving, wigging, and sandaling up. Weave wigs and sandals. Um, and they twerk on, um, on TikTok, okay? And... They are like music artists and they're popular on Instagram too. We can't show them really twerking. I mean, don't get me wrong. They are working with something. They do. They do got some booty, you know, they, 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 they're making a the clap and shaking and they licking their tongues out and all kind of other stuff. Right. And, um, you know, it, and they be having like different color hair, green hair, purple hair. <sighs> it, this is, a, they're, they're like the stereotypical chicks that you would see in urban black America that black women will be trying to get away from that stereotype okay you know weaves purple weaves you know hex you know you know very sexually dancing not all of our women are like that right but you know they are they, they, they do they, they do present that stereotype on their TikTok. well what happened is that they were getting so much news and getting so popular in alabama um their father okay uh james walters was uh was upset about it and he, he he drove over there and he 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 was arguing with them and trying to tell them like listen y'all need to stop twerking on tiktok okay that's where a story gets interesting according to you know police they were arguing things like that and um this is a mobile alabama and then there was a man that was trying to basically break break up the shouting right all right and then the father tried to attack the man okay the man was apparently one of the boyfriends he, he shot the father killed the father okay he also so demon gunshot sounds yeah he also shot not only the father but accidentally shot a 23 year old woman who was in critical condition okay oh my god now here's where it gets interesting can i get a dun 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 sound effect So the boyfriend of the woman that was shot on accident, D'Angelo Merrill, went to the famous twins' apartments looking for revenge, okay? He kicked down the wrong door and shot a 73-year-old man and killed him. A guy who had nothing to do with the killing, right? So an innocent guy got hit. So an innocent lady got hit, who's in critical condition. The father of their father got killed. And then an innocent guy who had nothing to do with it got killed. Can I get a game over sound effect, Nima? You stupid. So it's a big mess, okay? The, 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 those girls are like, you know, uh, sad music. No, it wasn't about no money, y'all. He saved me, my daddy gone, and I'm getting death threats. D E A F. I can't right now. Um, Blake me instead. It's supposed to be me, supposed to be R.I.P. Famous Twin in them, not my daddy, man. Okay, so we know we know what they're working with, all right? So guys, I'm gonna talk about this. The reality is that a lot of fathers try to start parenting their daughters too late. And what happens, you know, I know some guys don't wanna admit it, but some, some brothers' daughters are for the streets, okay? Um, it is what it is. Some, some of them, or for the streets, they're gonna be in the streets, they're gonna be dealing in those streets. And unfortunately, ain't nothing that you can do about it. All right? Ain't nothing that you can do about it, brother. You you might 
uh, want to try to help your daughter, you might want to try to help, you know, um, bring them back to life and all of that. The, re the reality is the streets got them. And I know a lot of guys don't want to think like the streets got your daughter or anything like that, but the streets got her. And the question I want to know is, brother, where were you at before? And not only where were you at before, what kind of mama did they have? See, you can't have a baby with their mama who ain't about nothing and then expect that they supposed to be about something. Who do they learn that from? They learned that from somebody. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm not trying to be mean or anything. But guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. They learned it from someone. Who was it that they learned it from? Okay. See, this is what happened when you have babies by chicks that you don't really like. You don't know nothing about. All right. You trying to get something and they learn that from their mama. They learn that from somebody in their community. You know, all that. They learned that from wherever they was at. Now you want to go and confront them and, and, and ask them to change. Brother, they're not going to change. Just because you said you they daddy, so they should change. They're not going to change, bro. All right? Those girls have been probably turned out. They'd have already been imprinted. Dudes have been already hitting them from the, from the back. Okay? You already know what's going on. Bro, you their daddy, but they don't care about what you got to say. And now because of that, instead of you just letting it alone, because they're not going to listen to you. Because if they cared about how you felt, they wouldn't be twerking in the first place. Obviously, they don't care about how you think. All right? Because if they cared, bro, they wouldn't have been doing it. Obviously, they don't care. Some of you brothers get mad at me when I say stuff like that. You know, some of y'all get upset. You know, but, but, but some of... You know, some, 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 some girls are just, you can't help them. They're turned out. Only thing you can do is hope that they change and hope that they get tired of it. But bro, they already been doing that, man. They're not going to, they, they, there's no coming back from that, bro. Ain't no coming back from that. All right. Ain't no coming back from that. And if you're dumb enough to feel that it is coming back, that's how you end up getting shot. And then you got shot trying to simp over your own kids. Now I get it. There are your own kids. At the end of the day, brother, where I mean, you know, a lot, a lot of brothers, I understand. Hey, it is what it is. Ain't nothing I can do about it. Streets, streets got her. You know, a lot of brothers' daughters is for the streets. Just like a lot of brothers, like, like, like a lot of mamas, you know, they, they sons in the gangs. Ain't nothing you can do about that. You know, and then you can do. I had a crack addicted father for, for years, till he wanted to stop. That's what it was. And you know what's so funny? Wasn't nothing we could do about it. <laughs> Wasn't nothing we could do about it, man. We, we, we couldn't do nothing about that. But just hope for the best. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first company in the top. Check out the Black Men Are Perfect t-shirts. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. Check out the Black Men Are Perfect t-shirts. At the first camp at the top, I'm out.